Gita. Uh, good morning to all of you. Good afternoon. And if you look across countries, the, the downward revisions are widespread. Uh, they are, however, stronger uh, for two groups of countries. First, for, for the members of the Eurozone, where uh, we expect growth in 2013 to be very close to zero. And for three of the large emerging market economies, uh, namely China, India, and Brazil. continue with accommodating monetary policy, which is a very powerful force for growth on its own, and then limit the adverse effects of the breaks. Uh, continue with uh, fiscal consolidation, and here advice, our advice still holds. Uh, don't do it too slow, don't do it too fast. In the shorter term, however, uh, more immediate measures are needed. Spain and Italy must follow through uh, with adjustment plans which we establish competitiveness and fiscal balance and maintain growth. To do so, <clears throat> they must be able to recapitalize their banks if needed uh, without adding uh, to their sovereign debt. And fundamentally, they must be able to borrow at reasonable rates. If uncertainty is indeed uh, partly behind the current slowdown, which I believe, and if uh, the adoption and the implementation of these measures decreases uncertainty, then things may actually turn out better than our forecasts, not only for Europe, but also in the rest of the world.